so we all played Gremlin, or we all watched Gremlins when we were kids. Cute little game. Cute. I guess. Movie game. Fucking it. This game's fucking me up already. But yeah, cute little monster things. I mean, look at it. Didn't realize that there was a Game Boy Advance game for it. Especially right? considering That's kind the Game Boy Advance is the early aughts and Gremlins is 1984. Yeah, seems kind of late to uh, reboot that in a video game franchise. But apparently, you might be interested to know. Oh my god. You we can have play sword. Strike, you can play the bad guy. Why wouldn't I play as Stripes? Who gives the fuck about Gizmo? And why does the text disappear so quickly? What the fuck? G gigantic fucking gremlin face is the background. <laughs> Steal the holiday presents from all the children in Kingstone Falls. Alright, I was done with that. I'm just they gonna jump in right into this shit. Okay, apparently we got buttons, we kill shit. I don't know, let's find out. Fuck, that's a long tutorial. Asian gift shop, I guess. Asian gift shop selling, uh, what was that? Some strawberry cheesecake? Yeah. And Most the noises it. he's making are fantastic. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's horrible. That was, that's fucking dire. And the I'm pretty noise sure gremlins that... don't don't gremlins don't transform like that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they get water splashed on them and they freak out. No, water makes them um, divide. Yeah. If you eat them after midnight, um, somehow after midnight, you know how time works. Um, they turn into an egg and then hatch as gremlins. So apparently the canon of this universe doesn't matter at all. Totally separate from the movie. I mean, uh, the Minority Report game had nothing to do with the movie, so... Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's only so much you can expect from games like this. So apparently, the first rule of litter box is anything you knew about the movie that the game's coming from doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, just, just throw it away. It's fucked up that I'm going around killing these little gizmos, though. They make the sound. You're not killing them. You're, you're making them. You're making them better. Ish. I mean, you're turning them from cute fluffy creatures into terrible reptilian nightmares. Who wouldn't want that? I God. mean, really. Yeah, you got a point there. Oh, we can climb on the toilet paper. That's. I think, it's, I think it's torn wallpaper. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. It looks like toilet paper. Are you dancing? What are you doing? I guess I have a dancing button. You just hold R and you dance. But I have no clue that how to is, get uh, That is, that's the best use of a button I've ever seen. Yeah. Every game should have a dancing button. I don't see why more games don't, honestly. You gotta but pick up the keys. I... Pick up the keys. I have no... Yeah, I have no clue how to get past this. Wow. There it is, the dancing button is really the, the grab key button. I see. Get that strawberry cheesecake. Wait a minute, those are presents over there, how do I get those? That seems, like, important. Like, we'd want to follow the rules of the game, right? But those garbage cans are so, like, blatantly background stuff. Yeah. Like, it, it makes no sense really they actually jump on top of them. I actually love- I love the Gremlin movies. Like, they're, they're know, some of my right? childhood they're favorites. They're so cute! And they're I so never... cute and dire at the same time. Yes. And, like, especially Gremlins 2 had a really great sense of humor about it. Exactly. With, like, the, uh... The Phantom of the Opera Gremlin, and... And the Scientist Gremlin, and... There was the Bat Gremlin 2 who attacked the, the old guy who... Freaked out after the first movie. Yes. Because he was like a gremlin conspiracy theorist to begin with. Really classic uh, movies, honestly. They're right up there with all the childhood favorites, you know? The 
It's kind of fucked up classic. in retrospect that, like, watching them as kids. Because they've got some, uh... There's a bunch of humor that kids wouldn't understand. Right. But at the, at the same time, some of the presentation is really childlike. Yes. It's weird how they do that, but they do that with a lot of kids' stuff, you know? Like, half the shit on Cartoon Network. Oh yeah, a lot of a lot of old cartoons are really fucked up. Yeah, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Um, oh my God, yes. Edda and Nettie like, isn't all that fucked up, but there's also the fact that there's these teenage girls chasing after these uh, these pre uh, preteen boys. Right. Like that's kind of that's kind of sketchy. Oh my God! You died. You me. That's fucked up. You died and levitated. So in this world, if... If Gizmo hits you, you're dead. But then you hit him and he just turns into a fucking gremlin. Hey, gremlins aren't the real monster here. Mogwais are fucking dangerous as shit. Apparently so. Get those presents, man. So I have hearts, but... What the fuck happened to all my presents, though? It, it, like, counted down as you grabbed them. That's weird. Okay. So how does this game play? Like, uh, from honestly, an standpoint? for a shitty little platformer, it's not as bad as you'd think. Like, the controls? Pretty smooth. And the Game Boy, like, there were some pretty bad Game Boy uh, controls, you know? Wasn't hard to fuck it up. This game's done it right as far as I can tell. Except for this little shit. Okay, yeah, the controls <laughs> in this game suck. Who am I kidding? Oh, you poor bastard. I have no clue. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh my god. That was dire. You just fucking melted. The music isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I'll say that much. Fuck. Okay, yeah. There's like this happy, upbeat tone to it, and it's kind of annoying because it repeats the same tones over and over. But you know what? I'll give it a pass. Not the worst games we've played so far in the litter box. <laughs> you, you just keep this fucking is... dropping into the fire. You poor bastard. This is this is impossible. Yeah, I fucking. Let's go switch quit. over to switch over to Gizmos. Yeah, let's try Gizmos, Gizmos. campaign. Let's, let's give a little taste of everything here. Gizmo looks fucking weird. It's E.T. He in the first. He is pissed. Alright. Alright, I don't care okay, about the They have the same long-ass tutorial. Holy shit, did you see Gizmo getting choked out there, though? I missed it. Alright, maybe we'll see it. He says gimme when he picks shit up. That's cute. Whoa, and he does like a little Sonic battle roll. What kind of attacks do you got? I saw I saw him using like a flashlight to melt gremlins. Yeah. But apparently I can't. Speeds. He's got a double jump though. That makes no sense. We're, we're playing a gremlin spin-off game made like 20 years after the movie came out, so... I mean... I, I say yeah. it doesn't make sense, like, this... The whole concept of what we're doing right now doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Sense is beyond this. Oh, he's got a dancing button, too. Look at him shake oh, yes. his ass. Cute little... I love how it's baby. just mirroring, mirroring the sprite. Oh, oh shit! Man. That is oh, fucking dire, God. holy shit! the original Mogwai. Like, he is... he is the Alpha and Omega. Apparently so. And he doesn't give a fuck about these gremlins. Like, you think the gremlins are, like, naturally evil? Naturally evil? Or do you think they get it from? It's from this They all came from right Gizmo. Here. My god. Oh god. You died. I died. So this we game learned pretty hard. this game's impossible. 
And you know, I was- I don't know why I got my expectations up, but I was kind of hoping for, like, different levels, you know? For the two different characters. You'd figure they'd vary up the gameplay a little bit between Gizmo and Stripes, but no. It's literally the same exact thing. They only have so much budget. I mean, how much money do you think is actually left over 20 years after the movie came out? Apparently enough to make a PS2 version of this game as well. Really? Yeah, they did. I swear Jesus. to god they did it. God, how does that look like? I, I haven't seen it myself, so I have no clue. It's probably more awful than this. Yep. It it's kind of hard to fuck up a Game Boy Advance platformer. Let's be, right. let's be honest here. I have played some weird ass racing, like top down racing games. Yeah. Like there was this uh, this Tonka truck one, which was in basically impossible to beat because they uh, they hate little kids. I know. But, uh, Don't you love how they do that to our youth? Little well, kids have time. They have time to to waste into pointless bullshit that they'll never beat. It's true. And they think they're having fun, too. That's the worst part about it. They have no concept for how much more productive shit they could be doing with their lives. Back Is to this, this going to ruin fire. the run again? Yeah, we're doing this song and dance again. Oh god. You slip off of this thing if you're not, like, on the right pixel. Is there, Fuck like, a you. button to grab it? Like, no, you just automatically do that when you get close to the ledge. Yep, this is fuck. This is fuck this. Oh. Uh, Let's try the time owned. attack just for shits and giggles. Time attack. Because what could the time attack be? I wonder if it's the same stage. Are they going to give you the whole tutorial again? Yes, they yeah. are. It's the same fucking game, just faster. Oh, well, yeah, now, yeah, now you have a timer. So it's even more impossible. This is ridiculous. Like, who got good enough at this game to just tackle it with the time attack mode? Obama. Fucking Obama. The sound effects for these creatures, I know that I've brought it up a couple times, but seriously, they're fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous how? Ridiculous bad? Or ridiculous scary? I don't know scary, if they're bad or... or just like, they're just fucking ridiculous. Like, the noises they make for Gizmo, I don't know if they make sense or not, but they're just so weird. They don't, they kind of sound like him from the movie, but like, pixelated and shittier, you know? That old Game Boy sound effect aesthetic. Exactly. I just have to get to the end here. God, you're straight up fucking murderer. Like gremlins are, are like they're they're sentient creatures. Like, yeah, they I have know. A personality and everything. We have to go back to yeast with this one, you know. We have to ask ourselves if the gremlins are really evil, and if we have the right to kill them. Oh. Well, I'm done with it. Gremlins, Spikes vs. Gizmos. Take what you will from it, it's a weird fucking game. 10 out of 10.